So, hey, I'm Chris Elliott, Great Lakes Motor X, and we're here at CobraCon 2022. Thanks for watching Boom in the Sky. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, welcome to Boom in the Sky. Thanks again for coming guys, we are still here at CobraCon 2022 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm here walking around the show, I stopped by to see the folks from Great Lakes Mortar Racks. I've ordered product from them before, I actually ordered the Mayhem, that was my first product. I was really impressed with how the, the build quality is. So I called up Chris and I said, I've got an idea. I want to make a high capacity uh, Roman candle angled rack. Uh, I want two of them on my New Year's show. He said, I got that, no problem. So, and that became the tail gunner. Check that video up. I will link that one above. But anyway, I'm here at CobraCon. I'm going to sit down with Chris and ask him a couple questions about how he got started in fireworks and how he started Great Lakes Mortar Rack. So stay tuned guys. And thanks again for coming to Boom in the Sky. Well, thank you, Adam, for having us uh, and promoting us in the past as well. Uh, my name is Chris Elliott uh, from Great Lakes Mortar Racks. We're based in Howell, Michigan. Nobody knows where Howell, Michigan is. We're just outside of Lansing or north of Ann Arbor. Um, you know, uh, my wife and I uh, run the entire company and we handle everything. It's a, it's a two-person show, let's say. Um, it started, well, it'll be four years this May that the company started, and I was basically, uh, in my local fireworks store, saw what they had. I'd already purchased the 28 shot fiberglass yellow tube rack that I'm sure most of you have seen or owned at one point in time and it had a sticker on it. Uh, direct from China, uh, manufactured rack. And uh, you know, I saw what my local store had and I showed him a picture of what I made. And he asked me if you know, if I could make those racks for a store. And the light bulb went off in the head and went home and talked to the wife. I said, hey, you know, let's do something. And um, she said, all right, let's do it. Four years later, you know, here we are. We're uh, at CobraCon. We were invited to be the only rack vendor here at CobraCon. So uh, CobraCon 22. So we must be doing something right. Um, you know, we're still very young compared to all the other companies out there doing mortar racks, but we do things completely different. So. Um, that's, that's where we are. I know I started out with the basics, a, a six and a 12. Um, basically, you know, what you saw online four or five years ago was there was four or five versions of racks and that was it. And there was a couple versions of a six, a couple versions of a 12, maybe a 36 and a straight fan. And I think that's pretty much what I started with. And right now, I think I'm around, I'm right in around 35, 40 models of racks. Uh, and growing, so it's uh, a little bit uh, overwhelming these days. It's a lot of different racks to remember how to build. I do have, uh, you know, my recipe book uh, for one four and my one three stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's uh, it's all up here. <laughs> I mean, obviously, those were the basics that I started out with because everybody wanted multiples of six. Um, obviously, uh, 50. 50 is my most popular selling rack to consumers, the end consumer and to stores. Uh, the 50 fan is our number one selling rack um, by far. Then it goes down to the 24s. And then believe it or not, our two worst selling racks are six shot and 12 shot racks because pyros want more. They want to blow up more stuff. You can do that with a 50 shot rack. It's hard to do that with, a, you'd have to have a whole lot of sixes. So even stores are now, um, not, not shying away, but they just don't purchase as many because people are walking in buying two or three sixes, two or three twelves, and you know it's just more inventory they're keeping on the floor, so they just start buying the bigger racks now. So, oh, young age, like I'm sure the rest of us. So, uh, my dad used to take me on fishing trips a lot. We'd go down south a lot. We live in Michigan, so we'd have to drive down 75. And what do you see driving down 75 to Florida? And then, you know, of course, driving down to Florida as a kid a lot of times too, but. What's down 75 is all the big fireworks stores. And, and at that point in time, it was only Tennessee, kind of dating myself there. But it was, uh, you know, that was all the billboards down in 75 was uh, fireworks here, fireworks there, and begging my dad to pull over and, um, you know, and then lighting stuff off in my driveway as a young kid and, and you know, annoying, uh, very much annoying the next door neighbor. Um, I grew up in a small subdivision and the house is really tight and uh, there was no space to do anything, but we just found a way to do it. And 
not anything like I can do right now, that's for sure. But yeah, you know, young kid, just like the rest of us, I'm sure. Mm, that's a tough question. Um, you know, there is such a variety with uh, 1.4, so I, 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 I love 1.4. Um, however, going to Sky Wars last year kind of changed my mind on uh, what, I mean, the, the, what you can do with 1.3 is great. Seeing it in a setting like Sky Wars, um, rather than, I used to go to Detroit Fireworks all the time, that was always such a big deal. It kind of just became blasé after a while. Um, and then once I was introduced to power musicals and a little bit vari more varieties, like something like Sky Wars, um, I don't know, I mean, I, I shoot everything as much as I can. You know, it's just finding the time to do it, like most of us, just I don't really have a lot of time anymore to do it. So luckily I have lots of friends that like to come over and they, the better part for that is uh, they get to blow up their own money instead of me blowing it up. So, um, you know, it works out well that way. There's, there's different things. So, th I mean, the number one rule, let's, let's face it, fireworks are dangerous. They are so dangerous. Like if you don't understand how powerful a one four canister shell is, then you need to watch my videos or watch more of your videos or the ones you're about to post. Um, it, it's super dangerous. So the, the most, the, the, the most thing about shooting fireworks is distance. You gotta have the distance. Um, and then what makes your life even safer is an electronic firing system, right? Um, and then it's just anything you do, you can do to make your show safer is what I talk about all the time. And that's what all my videos are about. Having that distance is the main thing. If you don't have the distance, refer to my silt fence video. That's S-I-L-T for those that don't know what a silt fence is. It's a black fence you see at construction sites. There's a video of, of it stopping a 1-4 shell at 12 feet. Um, it will stop 1-4 shells. I mean, and a lot of people just don't simply have the distance um, or the area to shoot a lot of stuff like fans and angles and all that stuff. So, you know, I can't tell you not to shoot because we all love fireworks and we're gonna shoot fireworks. So you just have to make your show as safe as possible. Whatever way that is, um, plywood walls, uh, whatever it may be, um, but I highly recommend electronic firing systems because you, it allows you to be a long ways away from what you're shooting um, rather than the hand lighting and standing next to it. And I know everybody's done it that's watching this. You hand light it and turn away. Um, and if you refer to some videos, you'll see why that is so dangerous to do. You know, I'm promoting the hell out of safety and uh, anything you can do to make your show safer, not just you, obviously, it's your, your audience, your loved ones, the buildings around you, um, you know, uh, it's all about being safe. And you know, that was another big reason why I got into it too, is it's, um, I saw a need for something different. And I'm not saying that they're safer because there's, it can be done uh, many different ways. You can do the same test, a Cato test on any rack, 10 different times, you're gonna get 10 different scenarios. I don't care what you do, that's just what's gonna happen. So what can you do? Distance. If you don't have the distance, put something in place to make your show safer. That's what it's all about. Well, uh, obviously the, with the Great Lakes theme, um, you know, uh, my wife and I talked about it and, and I'm like, man, blue pipe would be awesome. So it is a challenge uh, for those of you that really know about HDPE and how hard it is to get and whatever. Uh, it took me a couple years to find a manufacturer, one that would extrude it to us, for us in 12 inch length, so I don't have to cut it, because I did that one year and that was a nightmare. Um, and then you gotta deburr it, so it was finding somebody and then they can make it in any color, there's an upcharge, but I don't have to cut it. It never sees sun, it never sees dirt, it never sees water. Uh, it comes to us 12 inch lengths in Gaylords and we have to plug it and staple it, but it is, as clean as you see it right there, none of these have been cleaned. That's how they look when we get them. If anything, they're dirty from me having them and having sawdust in the shop. That's what you'll see in them, if anything. But it, it just, it's the Great Lakes theme, so it makes the rack stand out, obviously. Um, and that's what sets us apart. I, I was the first one to do it. So, you know, it, it's uh, the trademark of, uh, one of the trademarks of us. You know, it seems like every time I make a rack, that becomes my next favorite rack. Uh, I like, um, Chaos and America, probably. Uh, they are, you know, e each one, like, you know, when Mayhem came out and then Serpent, and then I, it, it all just kind of just, it, they just keep getting cooler and cooler, I think. 
Um, the looks of Chaos and looks of America are, are cool looking, so that's probably why I like them a lot. But uh, you know, shooting any of them, anything with a variety is what I like to shoot. You know, and um, you know, like even with your rack was a custom rack. Um, you know, being the tail gunner, and I let you name it. You know, so if customers like the Serpent right here, you know, someone called me, I had the mayhem, and wanted to know if they could put every other uh, tube straight up. And I just didn't think it was, you can't just redesign the Mayhem rack. So I said, listen, if I can make the Serpent rack or make this rack and I can market it, if I think I can sell it, I'll send you one for free. And that's how the Serpent was born. So my buddy in New York, one of my customers in New York, got one for free. Um, and that's how that was born. Obviously you called me about the tail gunner. Um, you had the idea and I was cutting the lawn at the time. And I said, yep, I have, I, as you were talking me through it, the design came up and uh, in my head and, and I created it and sent you pictures of it. We did it, modified a little bit, a little more of an angle than what, uh, or less of an angle, I should say. What was that, 40, or you wanted 45, yeah. So we went up to 60, 65. It all just depends on what I'm making and what they actually come out to be. But I think it's generally about 65, 66 degrees. But, uh, you know, those are cool. And, and that's how a lot of these have come about. And, um, other ones, I just lay in bed and I'm like, man, I know how I want to do something, but how can I do it? And that's how a lot of them become what they are today. The chaos, for sure. America, um, that's how they end up. So it's, it's uh, a lot of sleepless nights sometimes, <laughs> but it works. So obviously, you know, there's tons of video you can watch out there. Um, tons and tons of video you can watch out there um, on my channel, your channel. There's tons of uh, tutorials out there. Go to Cobra events, go to any firework event that you can go to because it is, it's the networking and the learning in these classes and stuff like that. I can't stress enough going to, um, you know, like Cobra 2022. The NFA is in the fall and in the spring, the NFA fall is a big show. Um, Sky Wars is a great networking event too. You're going to see, you get to walk the actual field there and see the setups and those are all professional, not all professional, but a lot of them are professional power musicals that are done there. But you gotta get out and you gotta network and you gotta watch videos on YouTube. Um, and you can learn so much out there. Um, obviously the best learning is in person and that's coming to events like this and, and uh, meeting people, talking to people. Uh, you can learn a ton and you can uh, definitely make your show a lot better. Save yourself some money here and there probably and uh, just learn so much. Um, the scripting with power musicals is getting easier and easier to do um, and having an electronic firing system will make your life so much easier and your show better and safer for sure. So obviously you can google Great Lakes Mortar Racks or it's greatlakesmortarracks.us uh, or glmr.us which is short for greatlakesmortarracks.us. Uh, my phone number is on the website my and, and on Facebook. We're all over Facebook like crazy. Just search Great Lakes Mortar Racks um, if you haven't already been somehow spammed or seen an ad for us because we do market the, the, a ton. Um, but uh, yeah, my phone number is on there. I take calls all the time, uh, as you well know, when you called me that one night. Um, so yeah, my phone number's out there. I answer calls. I, I will walk you through processes, fusing, safety questions you may have, a question on a rack and how it's gonna shoot, the angle of it, or if you think you got something in mind that I don't already have and you think I can, I can make it and build it and uh, sell it, you may end up with a free rack. Okay guys, thanks again for coming. This was the interview here at CobraCon with Chris from Great Lakes Mortar Racks. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I did enjoy learning about how he started the business and, and certain other things like why his tubes are blue. So uh, anyway, thanks again for coming. If you did like this video, definitely smash that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever ordered from Great Lakes Mortar Racks. And of course, subscribe. We've got more stuff coming up. I'm learning stuff, I'm buying stuff. Probably ended up with a couple more racks here and there. So uh, you can find information about the brand. You can order stuff right online. I'm having it delivered to you at greatlakesmortaracks.us. Uh, you do get a free sticker and a free koozie with every order. I'm gonna maybe take a couple of these with me and uh, next time I hit a, a milestone video, we're definitely gonna give you guys some stickers and some koozies. So thanks again for coming to Boom in the Sky. But like I always say, make it beautiful and make it loud. Thanks guys.